This is my review for the new dog training collar that just came today. It's by NVK, and we are going to put it on Hero. Isn't he a cutie pie? Hi, sweetheart. We're taking this video in the office, and I'm gonna get some help here. Um, this is an unboxing, so you're gonna see exactly what we take out of the box. There's the collar. And you see it's got two prongs, and you have to make sure that those prongs go up against your skin because you're going to put it on. Trust me, I know about this one, and he's not going to respond. It's because it's not touching his his skin. So if you would please put that on him. And this is how to put the collar on the dog. Oh, well, you have to get the little elastic bands off here. Mm -hmm. Well, he's getting elastic bands off. I'm, they, there was a little... Um, brochure that comes in they usually have pretty good information on what to do and in the brochure it tells you what comes with it and what's in the box you have different meat prongs mm-hmm okay because he normally needs longer prongs because he has a lot of hair yeah let me come um, over here and look and see what okay yeah um the question was just asked about the size of the prongs and there are different yeah and they have covers for the prongs too yep. which is good yeah and you really need that it makes a difference depending on what kind of a dog you've got ours is an akita and he is a good boy, aren't you, Hero? He's a good boy. But sometimes he needs a little direction because what he wants to do and what he's supposed to be doing are two different things. Yeah. So you see, it's not that difficult to put the collar on him. No. Well, okay. Yep. Yeah. The and there's the, the USB cord in no, here. Down, <laughs> down, Calm down. Be good. Okay. Um, and then this is the control that we're going to be using. Now, I haven't put the batteries in this time because right now what we're just simply showing you is how easy or difficult it is to get the, the collar on the dog and whether he responds with wearing it very well. He's a pretty good guy. And here is a car outside, so his ears are all perked out like, Mom, Mom, there's somebody out there. Well, that's strange. Okay. You can't change this end anymore. Okay. So I guess we change the other end. Okay, so you may I have would, to fiddle with it. I would pick the yeah. wrong one to try and change. Okay. Let me go back over here. Let's see what else is in this box. Okay, here's the prongs and the prong covers that come with it. It's in the box. A USB cord. Oh, I love these. These are the little... Um, I stick them on the controller so that I can hang it off my wrist. It's a, wrist, a wristlet. That's what they're called. Okay, so that's what's in the box. And we'll go back to the brochure and see what it tells you exactly what to do they're actually well written you know some of them come in and they are written in non-english shall we shall we say it tells you exactly what it's going to do are you ready going to put your collar on baby yep, you are going to put your collar on end. yeah and he's working on getting the collar ready hey are you going to be a good boy yes are you Here's the other dog we've got. She's looking, going, well, where's my collar? Well, Sugar, you're just a little bit too small for collars. Yes, Hero gets this one. Yeah, Hero gets it. Sit, sit down. Good boy, good boy. You might want to know why people have to put collars on dogs. And it's really important because if he starts running and doesn't come back, he's either going to get hurt, he's going to get hit. You want to keep him safe. But also when you have somebody coming and he's in a protect mode, you don't want them to get bitten. You know, and he's, he's a good boy, but if he thinks anybody's going to be bothering us, he's going to have something to say about it. I'm going to let the video keep going because you need to see how long it takes to be able to get this thing out of the box and onto the dog. Hey, hero. Yeah. I know you hear somebody, don't you? It's mm -hmm. another drug. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You see what he just did? Growling and jumping. He's alerting. He's telling us that there's a truck out there going by. It's it's deer hunting season. And that kind of behavior is okay when you've got him in the office. But when you get him outside and he starts running around and getting into things, you're going to need to be able to call him back. And with the collar, what you can do is set it so that it's on a, a lower shock so he gets used to it. And only use the really high shock when you absolutely have to. Sometimes... <clears throat> All you have to do for a dog is literally show them the control. And if you just go, Hero, Hero, look, look, sit, sit down. Uh, he, he doesn't know what it is yet, but well, he did sit down, didn't you? Well, he normally sits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that does work. Okay. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I could tell you out of the box here. It delivers a beep tone. 
with a non-adjustable volume to the collar, and it also delivers a vibration. I'm gonna tell you something about the vibration to the collar. <laughs> he doesn't even respond at all. If it's just vibrating, you got nothing. Some dogs will, but he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't do that one at all. Um, it says vibration intensity adjustment, press and hold the vibration level uh, button B at the same time rotating the level. Sounds like a lot of trouble. He just needs a little zap so he knows what. Okay, here it goes. I'm gonna put the collar on him. Hey, baby. Daddy giving you a brand new collar. You got a necklace, huh? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> He's quit. already got his quit. pop. They're like, I quit. don't want this on. Quit. He'll get used to it, but you uh -huh. have to adjust it. There uh -huh. you go. That is how the it's collar is supposed to hair, fit. It's a hair snug, but. Yep. It looks like it's a little tight, but you know what? If you leave it too loose, it's not oh, going to yeah, work. It can't be loose or it won't work. It's okay. got a, it's got a, and, and he needs the longer prongs actually for it to work because he's got a lot of hair. Okay. Yeah. He's got to have a longer. Short hair part. dogs can get by with the others, but. Okay. So. He actually works better with longer prongs. Yep. If you're going to put it on, you might as well use it properly and correctly. Sit down, baby. Sit. One last picture. Sit. Gonna say hi to everybody. Sit. There you go. And that is Hero with his brand new collar on. And he's going, Dad, take it off. <laughs>